What's going on guys, if you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to the official box opening here on the It Resolves channel of Innistrad Crimson Val. Now as the title may have given away, we're not just opening a single booster box. Today we have got two full draft boosters that we are going to open up. Now these are provided by our amazing sponsor, Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. If you have not checked them out, you are missing out. Go hang out with them. They have got a Facebook group linked down below. They have been doing a lot of fun stuff including trade days all kinds of exciting things and they do play lots of commander in store so please go hang out with them they did pre-release i did not get to go unfortunately that's why these boxes are a little late uh i did have a few family emergencies that kind of took precedence but i am so happy to be opening this up today with you guys we have got tons of value cards that we are hoping to pull the new soren necro duality we've got the cultivator we've got tons of stuff we got amazing things that we're gonna try and pull so let's go ahead guys let's jump in let's see what we can get all right guys we are here we have got our amazing boxes here in front of us and we're gonna go ahead and kick off with just one of these like i said these are presented to us by grand slam comics and collectibles if you don't know who grand slam is they are the local game store here in my opinion the best uh and they do some amazing things so please go hang out with them again i just want to say a huge thank you to them because without them all these all these little box openings and things that we do would not be possible uh and so i really do appreciate all the help guys it does mean a lot let's go ahead and jump into our first booster pack guys oh my gosh this feels so good so uh if you haven't been paying attention uh, you should know that on the channel at this point, we have been opening up quite a bit, or play, playing quite a bit. Oh, guys, we're starting off strong. We got a Cemetery Gatekeeper off the first pack, our first Mythic. Look at us go. We are amazing. We'll stick those Mythics right back there. And we will go through very quickly on the first few packs. We're going to go through the commons and uncommons. We'll probably skip through those once we get later into the box. I don't want to waste everybody's time. We know what we're here to see. Come on. We know. We know. Um, but yes, guys, uh, the uh, the things that we do, uh, or if you haven't been paying attention to the channel, we've been doing quite a lot of gameplay. We have gotten a lot of the new stuff already played out. Wow, our first uh, foil as well. Look at this. Uh, and an old Rust, Rust, Rutstein. That's what it is. I can say things. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, we have been playing quite a bit of the new set. Ooh, very nice. Uh, and we've been really enjoying it. This set is amazing, in my opinion. Not only are all the tribal synergies pushed so far to the max, uh, but we just have some really sick cards. Like, just on their own, we have got some really sick just value cards. Green got such a boost in this set, in my opinion. Uh, we've got a Dread Feast Demon uh, that, it, I mean, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We've already played some of the vampire stuff. We've played some of the werewolf stuff. Uh, we've done some life gain decks. We've got a mono white list coming out. And we are starting back with challenge week, which is something that we haven't done for quite a while. If you don't know what that is, essentially, uh, we, we talk to our community a good bit and ask them, hey, if we give you guys a build around card, what would you do with it? And so, oh my gosh, Cemetery Illuminator, our second mythic of the box. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Uh, we will do a little quick recap at the end, guys, just to see what all we got. Uh, but my goodness, strong start. The first, like, what, four packs and half of them are already mythics? That's that's pretty amazing. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but uh, the challenge week is really fun. We essentially task you guys to build a deck around a particular card. Now today's, or, or excuse me, this week's card, uh, Investigator's Journal is our rare, uh, was Necro Duality, a brand new mythic from the set. It's actually one of the higher dollar cards, I believe, in the set as well. Uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's really, really fun. Episode one did go up uh, today. I believe this goes up on Monday. Uh, and so uh, it did go up today uh, with one of our, our uh, community members being the, the deck builders. So the idea is that, ooh, 
no, sorry. Uh, overcharged Amalgram, a fantastic rare as well. Uh, basically, they build decks featuring Necro Duality uh, and try and break or do something creative with the card. So we're trying to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, and then essentially we pit three of those deck builders against one another and on Friday we determine who wins uh, and that person whoever whoever did win actually gets a free set of altars that we do that are normally only available Woo! yes please oh my gosh uh, and a howling moon as well uh, that are normally only available to patreon members uh, and so it's a really great way not only to get your hands on some digital altars, but also flex those deck building muscles uh, and just have a fantastic time with the community. It really is a fun time. Uh, and it's great to feature some of you guys on the deck building end. Some of you guys are incredibly creative. It's absolutely fascinating. Oh, Demonic Bargain, our first foil rare. Holy crap, that is a really fun one. Uh, my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh, what is this pack? Volatile Arsonist is a, myth a mythic rare, our third mythic of the box. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, well, we are kicking it off strong. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through some of the comments. Again, we know why we're here, guys. We wanna see the good stuff. We don't need to see every common and uncommon. For now, we are gonna go through the uncommons and just have a blast uh, because we do have two boxes. I don't wanna take all of your time uh, because I know you guys got other videos to watch. You got other gameplay on our channel that you need to go check out. You guys need to go build a deck for the challenge week. You got stuff to do. I don't wanna waste your time. We know why we're here. Um, because I gotta add, oh my gosh. Oh, what? Okay, uh, Audric Bloodcursed. Not a bad uh, foil rare, and of course, in that beautiful showcase frame, why wouldn't it be? Uh, wow, okay, and Olivia's Attendance here is our second rare of the pack. Oh my gosh, what a strong start, guys. What a strong start. Um, but I gotta ask it, guys, you obviously, uh, or obviously pre-release was this past weekend. I would love to know how your pre-release went. How did your sealed pool look? What did you end up opening, if anything? Uh, super exciting. I would love to know. Olivia's attendance, wow, look at that. Uh, the showcase version. Um, but I gotta know, how did it go? Like I said, I was not able to attend. Uh, I don't often get to attend pre-releases. It kind of sucks, but I mean, being married now and like having having things like work uh, that kind of take precedence. Oh, the partners are here. Look at this. Guys, this box is like kicking it off strong. Okay. Um, but uh, with work and things like that, I just don't often have time that I'm able to attend pre-release. Uh, I think the last one I went to was it was a while ago. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm a little ashamed about it, but it was really, really fun. Sundown Pass, our first of the new dual lands. Absolutely love those. Happy to see them. Uh, anytime you get a new little dual land, you never feel bad, right? Like it always feels pretty good. Um, I just can't believe this box so far. This is kind of amazing. Uh, like I said, we will kind of do a quick recap uh, of this box in between. Of course. Because why not? Why not add more to the stack? We've got Savior of Olenbach. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Absolutely amazing. Guys, these mythics are coming hot and heavy. Wow. Holy crap. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I got to be honest. That's kind of insane. Grand Slammer, they're the ones that picked up these boxes or picked these boxes for us. So I got to say a huge thank you to them. Scattered Thoughts is a foil. We've got that beautiful swamp. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys. Guys, this is insane. Olivia Crimson Bride Showcase Mythic. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite new cards from the set. Absolutely love to see it. This is ridiculous. This first box is like kind of broken. Uh, I, I feel like the second box can't stand up to this already. Like it's, this is too good. This is way, way too good. Uh, we have got Blood Vile Purveyor here. Uh, and I think, yeah, we'll just do a quick little run through. I think at this point, I think we know. Uh, but man, guys, this is a killer, killer box. We got Olivia, we've got the Arsonist. We've got so many good things already. Absolutely amazing. We have got a Shield Basher foil. 
and an alchemist gambit this is the extra turn card now if you did not see we actually posted a deck uh that uh made use of alchemist gambit as well as all Ron's epiphany to take extra turns and just try and win the game uh with things like goldspan dragon and whatnot wow skulking killer another foil <laughs> guys I can't make this up. This is amazing. Uh, we have got Soren the Mirthless. This is potentially my favorite card from the set. This is amazing. This is such a good black planeswalker in my opinion. It's just, it encompasses the color pie for black so well. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Oh my God. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. We're not even like halfway through the box yet, guys. We're not even halfway through the box. This is phenomenal. Uh, I don't think I have ever seen a box this strong. Uh, Uprising of a standard set. Let me let me clarify. We we keep it in perspective here, and it resolves. We know we know this is a standard set. Uh, wow, this has been insane. Uh, yeah, I I can't imagine the second box stacking up to this. There is no way. Falconrath Forebear. We did play a Vampires list that featured the Forebear. Very, very good card in my opinion. Um, it does work, at, I mean, exceptionally well with the blood tokens, of course, uh, and just does some amazing work. Uh, great aggressive card as well. We've got Splendid Reclamation. I really like that card. Uh, it feels really interesting to me. I, I don't know how to break it quite yet, uh, but I feel like there's a way to break it. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like one of those kinds of cards. <laughs> uh, all right. Swamp. Kessig Wolf Rider. Uh, very nice little one drop. I feel like, okay, so here's something. This is interesting to me because I feel like, I feel like the power creep has never been, and maybe I'm, I'm overvaluing things. So that's very much a possibility, but I feel like the power creep in this set is readily apparent. Wow. Okay. A showcase Stromkirk. Very, very good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, sure. You know, why not? Let's just add to the fun. Let's just add. Uh, that's amazing. I'm looking at the price list right now. Olivia Crimson Bride up there as like what the seventh most, most high valued card in the set. Soren the Mirthless, the showcase version is number one. So let's, let's keep our fingers crossed for that. That is a possibility. Dominating Vampire is our rare. Um, but I just, I feel like so many cards are so pushed in this. There's that three mana, uh, one a green or two green for a three four with vigilance, uh, dying to serve. Fantastic. Uh, just werewolf creature, so it's got synergy in the set. Uh, it exiles stuff from the graveyard. Of course, vigilance makes it a good attacker and blocker. Uh, it just has so much potential, this whole set. There's Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, one of my favorite reprints. Absolutely fantastic card. Uh, I keep kind of skipping through the uncommons because, again, we, we, we kind of know. Uh, and we got, we got a whole other box to go through, guys. This is only box one. Now, we are kind of pushing our way towards the uh, back half of the box. Oh! Yes! Okay, we have got a full art Dream Root Cascade. Holy crap. Okay, these full art lands, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna keep those in their own pile here at the top uh, because, I mean, come on. These full arts are absolutely stunning. Uh, we actually just put a handful of full arts up for sale in our TCG player store. So if you are interested in picking any up, do check back there. We do update that pretty regularly. How Pack Piper, one of my favorite werewolf cards for the, uh, the new set. Again, I keep I start going through the uncommons and then I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> that Piper is very, very good in my opinion. Uh, basically two mana get any card down or any creature down in your deck is really good. Dig up, fantastic card. This is such a powerful little, um, uh, um, Oh my gosh, tutor. I couldn't think of the word tutor. Holy crap. Uh, but very, very good. Uh, wow, guys, I am, I am absolutely floored at this box. This is so good. Uh, we've got a winged por portent. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. That's very good. Uh, that's an interesting card. I feel like that would be really, really good in like commander. 
um, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we do have only a handful of packs left in this first box, guys. Do we think, do we think we'll get anything else? Because truthfully, we have gotten quite a bit already. Uh, another blood curse, very nice. Um, we don't really need anything else, uh, but I believe we have got like, what, five packs left? I think I'm counting correctly. Uh, we'll see. Let's see, we got Swamp. We have got Vengeful Victim. Absolutely love the Spirits list. Uh, Spirits obviously got quite a push this time round, uh, which I'm very, very happy about. I always love playing Spirits. I feel like it's difficult to make Spirits very good, uh, but I think they did it this time. I think they made Spirits like kind of ridiculously good. Another really good green card, Ovenwald Oddity. If you look on the back side here, it's an 8-8 with Trample, Haste. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, have Trample and have Haste. Just like everything you could want in a big stompy green deck. It's in that card. You don't need anything else. I mean, it's kind of amazing. Um, all right, guys. Let's see what we get. We've got another foil sanctify here and a dream root cascade, a regular dream root cascade. Again, never unhappy to see those dual lands. They are very, very good in my opinion. Um, anytime you pull a dual land, you you probably got some some decent value with your uh, packs. So that's that's pretty helpful. We've got a treasure token. Okay, another foil, <laughs> rare. <laughs> Shattered Sanctum foil. Because, you know, we just didn't have enough value in the box. I mean, you guys agree, right? Like, this, this box is terrible, obviously. Headless Rider is our second rare of the back. I mean, come on. Last pack, guys, this is the last pack of this box. Toss it over to the side, we don't need it anymore. And let's see what we get. This box has been incredibly kind to us. Let's see. Okay, we've got a foil uh, infestation expert and boom. Oh yes, okay, Voice of the Blessed. One of my favorite two drops in the set. A very, very strong card. Get some counters on that thing and holy crap is it good. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these rares over here to the side. Let's put them, uh, let's put them right here. That'll be fine. We'll put the foils over to the side as well and let's take a peek at the first box here, some of the major, major hits. So we've obviously got Dream Root Cascade, a fantastic card, absolutely love it. We have got Soren the Mirthless, absolutely perfect mono black planeswalker in my opinion. This thing does so much for mono black. Uh, very, very good. We have got one of the highest value cards in the set, Olivia Crimson Bride Showcase Edition, because you know, just the regular wouldn't do. Uh, we've got Savior of Olenbach, a fantastic mono white card. We have got Volatile Arsonist, one of my favorite new werewolves from the set. And yes, on the backside, I did forget to show it at first. Dire Strain Anarchist, very, very good. Uh, we have also got Cemetery Illuminator, one of the brand new spirits in the set, and I absolutely love this card as well as the artwork. And then a Cemetery Gatekeeper as well. Guys, what in the world? All right. What we are going to do is we are going to clean up from box one and we're going to jump right into box two now. All right, actually, before we do that, I totally forgot we do have the box topper in here. I'm not used to them having box toppers in every uh, draft booster, but let's open that up first. Let's not take too much damage on the card. Oh, let's not show it. Let's not show it. Uh, I believe I almost did. Hold on. Yes. OK, I did almost show it. We got this. Don't you worry, guys. We got this. There we go. There we go, all right. Oh no, it's a double-sided card, that's why. Uh, wow, okay, so Jonathan Harker, uh, absolutely fantastic, human advisor. And then on the backside, we've got Harker's, Harker's Obsessive Inquiry. Very, very beautiful card. Ooh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Very beautiful card. All right, let's set that to the side and let's go ahead, guys. Let's open up box number two. We will try and be relatively quicker with this one. We're not gonna go through. We didn't in the mo for the most part in the first box, but the commons and uncommons, guys, we're here for the rares. We know, we're all here for the rares. So let's see what we can get. Let's uh, let's kick it off with the box topper here, guys, because honestly, I just don't want to forget. <laughs> uh, that's kind of the reality of it. I don't want to forget the box topper because obviously this is just like a really major card here. Uh, let's see what we get. OK, it's not a double sided card this time. What do we think it is? Leave comments down below what you think it is. We have got. Ooh, OK, this is a little like. Can you guys see it? It's a little it's a little bit, but uh search the count's castle 
Draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you discard a basic land. Uh, okay, so this is Thirst for Discovery for real, but very interesting. Not as exciting as the first one, but that's fine, guys. I don't think this box can top the first one. Let's go ahead, let's jump into pack one. Uh, that first box was amazing. Absolutely stunning. All right. Again, we're gonna kinda go quickly through this one. We've got Tormented Prophet as our first rare. Not too exciting, but that's okay. We got this, that's only pack one. Pack one, last box was a mythic. We couldn't do that twice in a row. There's just no way. So <laughs> let's see guys, we got a beautiful forest. We have a hopeful initiate. Again, a nice little one drop. I feel like a lot of the one drops in this set are like one twos or two ones or things that you know, normally you would get like a 1-1 one, one, or maybe it's a 2-2, two, two, but it's got like a major drawback. There's not really a drawback to a lot of these cards. Uh, and so I feel like the power creep is quite real in this set. It's very, very good. Another Gambit, actually very happy to see that. I like extra turn spells. I know that's maybe an unpopular opinion, uh, but anytime you get an extra turn spell, it's something that you probably want to at least give a shout to uh, and, and just try. Uh, because I feel like it's going to be potentially very good. Uh, the wedding announcement. Well, look at that. Uh, all right. No mythics so far. We're only about four packs in, though, so we got plenty of time. But we did get, like, what, six in the first box. That's amazing. Uh, all right. And here we go. Our first one, Henrika Domnathi. A very nice little vampire. Absolutely love it. And it does have, or she does have a flip side. Henrika Infernal Seer. Beautiful, beautiful card. Absolutely powerful as well. Uh, all right. Let's keep it going, guys. We did get our first mythic. Very happy to see that. Uh, again, as we are uh, starting in here on this second box, I just want to say a huge thank you to Grand Slam. Oh, Katilda Donhart Martyr. Absolutely love this card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, just wanna say again, a huge, huge thank you to Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Without them, we couldn't do this kind of stuff. Uh, and without you guys, we couldn't do this kind of stuff. We have seen so many new viewers. I wanna say a huge welcome to all of you guys here. Uh, our first foil of the box, Dormant Grove. Uh, just wanna say a huge thank you again to everybody who is uh, hanging out with us, watching the videos. If you're new here, welcome, hang out. Hang out, watch our videos, watch Discord, hang out in, di in the Discord because we do a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, and we've got such a great community. We really do. We've worked hard to build this community uh, and you guys really make it what it is. Ooh, Path of Peril, one of my favorite new cards from the set. Uh, but um, truthfully, our, our Discord is one of uh, my favorite places just to sit and hang out and watch what people are talking about and that kind of stuff because Everybody is so positive, everybody hangs out and just has a grand time. Uh, and that's all you really want out of a community, you know what I mean? Uh, Maid of Dishonor, one of my favorite new vampires from the set. Very, very strong. Uh, and again, was featured in the vampires list that we played. That was the first list that we played, was a vampires list. Uh, because, I mean, come on, this is the vampire set. You gotta kick it off with the vampires, right? Like, it just makes sense. Uh, Hamlet Vanguard. Beautiful art on that card. I really like that. Uh, all right. Uh, so far, only one mythic. It's it's a pretty decent mythic. Like, I really like that card. Uh, but nothing too crazy yet. We will see if we can get something a little stronger throughout the rest of this box. Beautiful mountain. Sigarda's summons. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Love that card. All right. Ooh, no. Oh, no my piles <laughs> i've got just like two giant stacks of cards over here now all right uh let's see what we can get um day uh okay another foil adamant will not bad uh i mean anytime you get a foil you're pretty happy Ooh, ascendant pack leader again another what seems to me to be an overpowered one or uh, one drop it's a two one for one that just gets stronger the more you play, uh, which you're gonna do anyway. So it's just like, I don't know, that seems a little pushed. Maybe that's just me, I, I'm not sure. Uh, this seems a lot stronger and a lot more interesting than uh, than Midnight Hunt. Uh, whoops, excuse me, there we go. Lantern Flare, a very good new card in my opinion for life gain decks, uh, as well as just in general, but um, it gains you a little bit of life, but it also can deal a decent chunk of damage. And you can actually, depending on your, if you're paying the cleave cost or if you're just playing it as is, uh, it can really get out of hand very quickly and kind of save you in a game. Lantern of the Lost and Creepy Puppeteer. 
Nothing too crazy so far yet, guys. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the Maid of Dishonor is pretty nice. Catilda was pretty nice as well, actually. But uh, again, nothing like, oh man, crazy. You know, we're not we're not getting anything crazy yet. Uh, Investigator's Journal, eh, that's cool. That's cool. I really want the Caretaker. Uh, that thing is stupid. It's a hexproof creature. Uh, that can give other things counters. It's like it's just excessive another blood curse I think that's like our we've gotten two showcases of that of uh, Audric and I think two or three just regular ones out of these two boxes so far That's kind of crazy. That's a lot uh, Okay, a foil wedding announcement a foil rare. I will never complain about perfectly fine by me I didn't actually show the backside here, but uh, wedding festivity just creatures you control get plus one plus one. Very good, don't get me wrong. Uh, and then Blood Vile Purveyor, a nice little vampire creature as well. Uh, we're like halfway through this box. We've only gotten one mythic. <laughs> Maybe we'll get something really, really good at some point, right? Like that's the hope. Uh, Curse of Hospitality. Look at this art. Oh my God. Gosh, that is a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, the art in these sets, uh, in any Innistrad set, is generally pretty good because it's got that gothic horror feel. Uh, like, everything has, like, a tilted perspective. It's all just really creepy. Guys, holy crap! Oh my gosh, this is, I believe, the most expensive card in the set. Hold on, I gotta check. I gotta know, how much is this card? Okay, this is $40 right now. What? Holy crap! Oh my gosh, okay, well, yep. We uh, we got the crazy pull. Uh, we did it, go us, we're amazing. Now, obviously that, set, that price is probably going to drop, but, oh my gosh. What the heck? Uh, Grand Slam, you are picking my boxes from here on out. Edgar is here. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe that these boxes are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, uh, well, we got a foil rare because let's add to it. Dominating Vampire, let's see what we get. We got another Olivia. Just, we're not even gonna say anything. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're not not even gonna acknowledge how good this car, this box is either. Doesn't matter. Not gonna even talk about it. It's fine. We're just, we're just opening up packs like everybody else. Everything is fine. Splendid reclamation foil. And Athalia. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> I truthfully cannot believe this. What is this? Overcharged Amalgam as our rare. Oh my gosh. Okay, and we still have packs to go. We still have a decent number of packs to go here, guys. We are not done yet. Uh, let's oof, get that pack open. There we go. All right. I I am absolutely floored. Uh, Helan, Helena and Elena. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know how to read very well, clearly. I'm not very, uh, very literate, uh, but that's fine. Everything's fine. I am, I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless, I'm absolutely speechless. This is amazing. A sundown pass, full art. Just add to the fun because we didn't have enough fun yet. We haven't had enough fun yet. Uh, so let's just keep going because you know, we might as well that, okay, that sundown pass real quick. This looks like, it looks like a place in the Marvel Universe that uh, I've been re-watching a lot of those and uh, it very much looks like something. Okay, a Cemetery Desecrator. Just another mythic. No big deal. No big deal. This is just normal box opening as it goes for me. I, I open boxes all the time and get great pulls like this. This is very normal. I buy a pack, it's gonna have a great pull in it, obviously. Uh, Geralt Visionary Stitcher. Very, very cool card. Uh, zombie creatures you control have flying, which is kind of ridiculous with that, in my opinion. Um, they're already, like, kind of pushed in this set. They obviously, Decayed makes them, like, worse than they used to be, but it also means you can kind of play around with it. Catilda, Dawn, Heart, Martyr. I really like that card. Uh, I have played a little bit with that as well. Uh, and Catilda seems quite good. 
Uh, also, just having disturbed is or disturb is quite good. All right, we are getting towards the end. Another dream root cascade. Not bad, honestly. If we finish off the box with this, I'll be fine. I don't need anything else. I think we did it. I am good. This is insane. <laughs> uh, absolutely insane. Beautiful mountain and dollhouse of horrors. Very interesting. All right, how many packs do we have left here? I believe we have got like six packs, six or seven packs left in this draft booster box. Again, guys, this has been an absolute pleasure. I'm so glad we can finally do this. I know uh, I mentioned at the top of the video, we were a little late uh, getting our boxes because of uh, just family emergencies, things like that, that I kind of had to take care of. Um, and we're still kind of getting back from all the wedding and all that stuff, demonic bargain. Um, obviously, October was a very busy month. Uh, and so November is proving to be the catch-up month so far, but we're doing pretty well We've gotten a lot of videos up recently. I hope you guys after this one will go and enjoy that <laughs> another cemetery illuminator uh, I do hope you guys will go and enjoy those uh, gameplay videos. We've gotten tons of them up for you We've got plenty more coming. So do not worry uh, if you uh, want to see a particular deck list share it down below I am all too happy to play it and hang out uh, Storm Kirk very nice uh, because I just love playing games. That's all it is, really. Uh, last two packs, guys. Last two packs. Truthfully, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, but let's see. Wolf Token, Island, and okay, uh, Showcase Visionary Stitcher. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not bad. All right. Last, last pack. Oh, man. What an opening. This is... This is 30 minutes of just pure adrenaline of opening up all these amazing packs. Let's see if we got, okay, we got a cavalry as a foil. Not bad, our, our beautiful planes and a Voldaren estate. Fantastic, we're gonna leave it off there. Whoop, drop the uh, little token. All right, let's very quickly look. We have got obviously the Sundown Pass, uh, absolutely beautiful full art, love that. Got Cemetery Illuminator. Not a bad little mythic. Oh, let's do one thing really quick because, you know, obviously we got to get these in order. Uh, we have got the Henrika Domnathi. Beautiful card. Very, very good in Vampires. The Cemetery Desecrator. We got Olivia Crimson Bride number two. Not showcase, but still very, very good. And the big daddy of them all. He's he's smoldering. Look at that smolder. Oh my gosh, Soren. Soren the Mirthless. Oh, man, guys, this has been an absolute pleasure. I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. If you have checked out all of our videos, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please feel free to do so. Leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. I know I know I did. This has been amazing. So thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to Grand Slam for making this possible. And we will see you guys again very soon for some more opening videos.